Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com for free premium sports picks. Look us up in the sports section on Roku. We're there, Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. You know, I've owned a small business. And if I were to hire someone to be the head coach of that business, I would expect them to lead. I would expect them to do the right thing. As Dr. King used to say, it's always the right time to do the right thing. Let me take this opportunity to throw a red flag on Tony Dungy, a guy who up until now I've considered a role model, right? I've admired the fact that Dungy was bold enough to be the first black head coach in the National Football League to win the Super Bowl. I've admired the fact that Tony Dungy has reached out to black men who are incarcerated, right? He has toured prisons. He has tried to give advice. But his statement to the press recently that he wouldn't have drafted gay football player Michael Sam because, as he put it, I wouldn't want to deal with it. It's not going to be totally smooth. Things will happen. It's just simply ridiculous. It shows a lack of leadership. This is really, in my opinion, the height of cowardice. This is like someone telling you, you know, I'm not going to hire black people because some people are racist. Right? I'm not going to hire a gay person because some people are homophobic because homophobes might actually disrupt my business right clearly Tony Dungy is not the man to be head coach for a National Football League team in 2014 this is simply outrageous let me offer a different dynamic that might permeate through the locker room. If you're on a team, gay or straight, and you sense that your head coach doesn't have the courage to do the right thing, you sense that your head coach wouldn't have a black person or a Latino person or a gay or lesbian person on the team simply because they think that things aren't going to go smooth, then you might not have the commitment as a football player that you would have if you had a real leader leading the club. Let me also say, too, Tony Dungy actually has a big-time position at NBC, right? You know them. They're the network that's going to call the Redskins the Redskins and then pretend that it's not an ethnic slur, right? Okay, fair enough, fair enough. I have a remote control that can change the channel if I choose, right? But just understand, Dungy should have more of an awareness of his position, more of an awareness that he shouldn't be giving cover to homophobes, to people who want to discriminate. Isn't it discrimination when you say, I'm going to discriminate because other people are discriminating? You tell me, why isn't that cowardice? Leave your comments for me here online in the comments section to this video here on YouTube, and let's talk about it. Maybe I'm deluding myself, but I really do expect more.
from people given leadership positions. Let me also point out too, Tim Tebow. I've always been bothered, and I don't think Tebow is the most accurate quarterback I've seen. But I've always been bothered by the fact that Tim Tebow was a winner in the National Football League, but yet can't even get a backup job right now in the league. I thought it was about winning. Is there anyone watching this video who believes that if Tim Tebow wasn't religious, that he wouldn't be out of the league? Doesn't this league still have many Tony Dungies in it? Tony, I admire your other work, but you deserve a red flag for this one. Let me hear from you. Thanks for stopping by.